This chapter is all about command line editing. So without further ado, let's find out what command line editing actually is. Well, there are usually two components to command line editing. The first is a command line history. A command line history is a shell feature. In other words, it's a facility provided by your shell that allows you to re-enter a command that you've typed in before without having to retype it. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Suppose I type in a command such as who pipe, uh, pipe to wc-l and I find there are 54 users logged into the system. Then I want to also determine the calendar of the ninth month of 1752 and I find that as well. And then I simply do an ls-ac or something like that. Now, what I frequently need to do is re-enter commands that I might have entered before, and that is a command line history feature. So I can simply scroll up, if you like, using the up arrow key, and I'm typing the up arrow key on my keyboard, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, scrolling through to find the commands that I have typed in before. And I press enter, and then I can use up arrow and enter to type it again, up arrow twice, to ls minus ac and I can run that so you see that I can actually repeat every command on my command line with very little typing. That feature is obviously called the command line history. The other half of the equation is called command line editing which allows the current command or actually any of the previous commands that you've typed in to be modified before enter is pressed. What that means is that you can be typing away on the command line you can be typing in a really long command, then realize that you've made a mistake, and instead of having to backspace over everything, you can simply use the left arrow to go back to the spot that you've made a mistake in, and fix the mistake, and then press enter, and the command will get run in its entirety. Alternatively, you could have typed in a command, and then realize that you made a mistake with after, you've t after you press enter, you realize you made the mistake, so then you can simply call up the last command again and edit that command rather than having to type the whole thing over again. Let me show you what I mean. Suppose I type in cd slash user slash bin, but instead of typing in bin, I type in b-i-n-e. And then it obviously gives me an error message, so I've made some kind of mistake. So now I can just use the up arrow key to find the existing command that I typed before and press the backspace, and now it works. Or alternatively, I could say cd slash home slash mvirtue slash course. And again, I've spelt home wrong, so that's an error message again and I can just use the up arrow and now I can use the left arrow and go back and delete the I and then run the program. That saves me of course having to retype the command in its entirety because of course retyping it again I might make another mistake. My corrections are not limited to simply erasing the, the wrong characters. I could uh, retype the entire bit if I wanted to so I could type in HOME1 for example, and that worked as well. So that's a very simple form of command line editing. Now, command line history and command line editing using Bash are about as simple as can be. You simply use the PC keyboard arrow keys to perform the simple and intuitive command line editing and history features. You simply use the up arrow and the down arrow, left arrow, right arrow, and so forth. If you need to make a change to any given command line, you just simply use the backspace or just start typing. Very, very simple. If you use the Born shell, the regular Born shell, there is absolutely no command line editing or history at all available to you. And I want to now spend the rest of this module talking about the Corn shell. Now, if you're not planning to ever use the Corn shell, then you can obviously skip the remainder of this module. But command line editing and command line history features are available in the Corn shell, but they're a little bit trickier than using Bash.